you got the wrong car. Get out of the car. Drive away now. I can't. Drive away. Take it with you. So you're sitting at home wondering, is that getaway movie that came out this weekend worth seeing? Well, here to tell us is our resident movie critic, Will Loper. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was pretty atrocious in this oh, movie. Oh, yeah, really, wow. Really bad acting. I have to say, in the case of getaway, my yep. advice is to take the movie title literally, get away from it. <laughs> Go away, get away from getaway. Wow. Uh, so it's a car chase action mm -hmm. movie. Ethan Hawke, Selena Gomez, age difference of 20. One years between the two of them, John Voight also stars as the bad guy. So he kidnaps Ethan Hawke's wife, puts Ethan in a car. It's got tons of cameras, microphones in it. Okay. He tells Ethan he has to drive really fast, crash into stuff, blow up, blow up stuff, anything he can do if he ever wants to see his wife alive again. Okay. You now I could have forgiven a lot in this movie if it, it just had fun with the premise and had cars driving around exploding. But it's impossible to tell what's going on. There's constant editing, the cuts. It's just cut, cut, cut. You can't yep. tell what's going on at all. So it ends up just being very uh, monotonous and mm -hmm. uh, tedious. So we never have more than two seconds at a time resting on the characters, even in conversation scenes. I, you know, I wanted to see the action mm -hmm. too. Uh, it also has to be the most inept good guys ever. At first I thought, okay, cool. You know, th uh -huh. they, it's like, how are they going to communicate? The guy is constantly watching them, listening to them. Right. And they're like, oh. How are we going to get out of this? But they just like openly talk about how they're going to get out and what their plan is. And then. Interesting, okay. But then the even worse, the bad guy isn't even listening to them at the time. So it's the most moronic bad guy as well. Just idiots all around in this movie. So. <laughs> okay, so how do you write this uh, one? I'm going to give this one one close up of John Voight's pudgy lips and cheeks out of five. That's all we see out of John Voight, which is very strange because John Voight has such a recognizable voice. Right. It's like, oh, you're not hiding. We can tell mm -hmm. that's John Voight. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Okay, so next up. All right, next movie I saw was Closed Circuit. So this stars Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall. A terrorist blows up a bomb in London, and Bana and Hall are assigned to defend the supposed mastermind terrorist behind it all. The movie is, is well made, well acted. Uh, its message seems to be that those in power are corrupt, and there's nothing anybody can do to achieve true justice. So it's a pretty depressing statement. Mm -hmm. The movie raises some good questions, doesn't seem to really offer any answers, so... It was a nice, nice change from Getaway, so maybe mm -hmm. that's why I liked it more. But okay, how much more? What are uh, we talking? We're talking two and a half uh, out of five. I gave it uh, Kieran Hind faces out of uh, five. <laughs> I just like his face a lot, and he's a, he's a great <laughs> character actor, and he's in this movie. So okay, there you go. All right, so what's up for next week? Uh, next week, more uh, manly movies. More manly movies. Excellent. I know Riddick mm -hmm. with Vin Diesel. Oh, well. Third then. movie he's playing Riddick. Yeah. Look okay. forward to that one. All right. Riddick's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Riddick is all you need. All okay. right, well, thank you. Yep, thanks.